Today I was so mad that I fell asleep last night because I wanted to order all of my hygiene stuff like as soon as possible. This is... I should have played ahead. I don't know why I didn't order this stuff before starting the challenge. I think I just got so busy shooting the videos that I just never had a chance to go research this stuff. But I'm really self-conscious about how I smell and walking around without deodorant is like... It's hard not to just grab it and put it on. It's just like part of my routine and brushing my teeth like obviously I got desperate and tried baking soda in my finger. That didn't work out too well. Um, you're probably wondering what I've been doing in the meantime while I wait on my toothbrush to get here and I've been doing oil pulling. I don't know if you've heard of that but it's an old like method from India. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not trying to it's just like a, um, you pretty much swish around coconut oil or olive oil or something in your mouth for like 15 minutes and it supposedly kills bacteria. It's been working okay, it actually does make my breath taste better, but I don't really feel like it's getting rid of plaque, so it's definitely not a long term option <laughs> for sure. But yes, if you do a plastic challenge, plan in advance. So I'm on my way to dance class, <clears throat> yeah, three hours of dance, and my deodorant hasn't come yet. I may not have any friends by the end of this day. <laughs> I hope my friends still love me. Um, I ordered my stuff on Amazon last night, but obviously it's not going to be here just yet, and I really hope that Amazon does not ship it in plastic. I wrote in as many places as possible, please do not ship this in plastic, use paper packaging, because I ordered plastic free stuff, but I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see if my messages go through. There's not really a place to write that except in the delivery instructions, so we'll see. I got online to continue shopping for toothpaste, but even some that seemed to claim that they were plastic free still had a little bit of plastic on them on the lids. But I managed to find toothpaste options fairly quickly, and I decided to go for the powder instead of the toothpaste tabs because I felt like it would last longer than the one month supply of tabs at the same price. I also managed to decide on a razor today. My housemate actually already has a plastic free razor and was telling me about it. It's called a safety razor and they're actually really cool. Like they use razor blades instead of those little razor refills and it's like 12 cents a blade. So it's so much cheaper over the long term than buying the razors that we get with the disposable um, blades and you can actually collect all the metal razor blades and return them um, you know when you have so many and they'll recycle them. I decided to go with a company named Rockwell because they actually had a lifetime guarantee and I didn't do a lot of research I came across them pretty quickly so I'm not sure if other companies do the same thing but they basically will replace your razor if anything happens to it, even if it's your own fault. Like if, it, if you drop it on the floor and it breaks, they will still replace it because they want so badly for you to choose their razor instead of going back to plastic ones that they'll cover a lot of stuff. And I think that's pretty exciting. It's also so much cheaper and I'm really excited to see how this razor works. I had to pack a lunch with me to bring to dance class today and I just like absentmindedly stuck it in a plastic bag. Um, but this is what I usually do and I decided I'm not going to punish myself for this one because I'm taking what are usually disposable bags and making them reusable. Normally speaking I pack my lunch in a plastic grocery bag every day but I reuse that grocery bag for my lunches or for like a small 
trash can garbage bag. So when I was making my morning smoothie this morning, I almost forgot and threw my banana in the trash can again. This is really, really hard when I'm in the house with other people who are not doing the plastic challenge because we share a trash can and everything and it's right there and it's just like, I have to constantly remind myself I can't put my trash in that, I'm not using plastic. I grabbed a temporary glass container at the last minute and threw a banana peel in there and then everybody the rest of the day was like, Lizzie, what the f is on the counter right now? <laughs> I don't have a composter. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this trash yet. We will see. Yay, I remembered to take a cloth bag for lunch today. So I bought this toilet paper earlier this week at Whole Foods because it comes in paper but it's literally been sitting on my bedroom floor. Like, I think I'm gonna have to make an exception for toilet paper too, because I'm in a house with other people. The toilet paper that, I, that, 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 that we buy, like for Airbnb guests comes in plastic wrap because it's cheap. This is like almost $2 a roll. So it's already in the bathroom. I completely forget to take this with me every time I go to the bathroom. If I go out in public, you know, the paper that's there probably came in plastic. Like, that's just, I think I'm potentially making some impossible standards to live up to. So I am going to nix the toilet paper and paper towel rules rule and allow those to be in plastic because Obviously I'm gonna be in places so I just grab a napkin. I can't potentially, I can't, I can't know if that stuff came in plastic or not because it's already out of the plastic. Also, I was asking you guys about these little deodorant packages cause I thought maybe they could be aluminum or something. Um, but my roommate said that he's 99% sure these are plastic, so I didn't use them. I've been going without deodorant. I can't wait till my plastic-free deodorant arrives because it's... I want deodorant. And I also mentioned something about some chip bags that I wasn't sure about, and... Um, I'm a chip whore, so I kind of already ate all of them. Because when I'm stressed, I eat junk food. I mean, they're healthy junk food, avocado oil, potatoes, and salt, like, but yeah, I poured through all those chips, so I also found out those were also plastic, even though I thought they were like, I don't know, like, is there any chips that come in something that's not plastic? This totally sucks. Anyways, not gonna buy any more of those. Um, if anyone knows where to get chips that aren't in plastic, please tell me, because Chips are like my reward snack when I'm being good on my diet. If you want to continue learning about how my first week on the plastic challenge went, stay tuned Thursday, February 21st, and I'll be uploading more content. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> <laughs>